Good morning, Highland Park High School. I'm Steven. And I'm Ben. It's April 30th, 2021. And welcome to HPTV Friday News. For our first story of the morning, let's throw it over to Aiden, who is in front of the giant gym. Thanks, Steven. Right now, I'm in front of the giant gym, where today, District 113 will be administering its first dose of COVID-19 vaccines to HPHS students 16 and older. The first dose of COVID vaccine administration is certainly exciting, and another exciting event upcoming is prom. Seniors, today is the last day to purchase your tickets to this year's mask grade prom night. For more information on prom and how to buy tickets, visit your HPHS Giant Life News. Ben and Steven, back to you. Thank you, Aiden. Prom isn't the only way HPHS is celebrating the class of 2021. Highland Park administrators and staff have created a customized lawn sign for each graduate. Seniors, please visit the H entrance sidewalk on Wednesday, May 5th to pick up your sign. HP Theater is seeking passionate and creative students for the production board of stunts. Applications for the production board are due this Monday, May 2nd. Contact Mr. Salaki with any questions and visit your HPHS Giant Life News for the application form. This past week, we rejoiced as temperatures hit highs of 80 degrees. Sadly, the gorgeous weather was followed by rainy days. Is spring here to stay or is summer just around the corner? Let's throw it over to your HPTV weather forecast and find out. Juniors, your class counselor is preparing for your upcoming senior year. They have created a super cool and comfortable class of 2022 t-shirt and they're looking for your input. Please scan the QR code on your screen and follow this short survey. Yearbook sales end tomorrow, May 1st. If you're interested in purchasing a 2020-2021 yearbook, scan the QR code on your screen and place your order today. Now, let's throw it over to our sports desk with Neil as he presents your HPTV Sports Update. Many stars retired this week, headlined by goalie Ryan Miller. He is the all-time leader in wins for an American-born goalie and is second in shutouts and games played, as well as being the starting goalie for the 2010 U.S. national team. In local news, the Chicago Red Stars, who currently hold the record for the longest active playoff streak, have started their season with an abysmal 0-2-2 record in group play. Forward Andrew Shaw also retired after 10 seasons and two Stanley Cup championships with the Chicago Blackhawks. The NHL agreed to a new TV deal with Turner Sports, which includes the rights to three Stanley Cup Finals and the Winter Classic Series for all seven years. The NFL had two big trades this week, as quarterback Teddy Bridgewater was traded to the Broncos and offensive lineman Orlando Brown was traded to the Chiefs. Finally, the Buccaneers re-signed seven-time Pro Bowl receiver Antonio Brown to a one-year extension, while two-time Pro Bowler Sean Lee announced his retirement from the NFL. That's all for this week. Tune in again next week for another edition of the Sports Update. Last, we leave you with this promo for the Dance Concert 2021. Tickets are on sale until May 4th. Until next Friday, from all of us at HPTV Friday News, I'm Ben Fitzsimons. And I'm Stephen Noble. Have a great weekend.